um, run into a situation where I wanted a medium light setup. <laughs> I mean, I probably just don't seek out those situations um, or a medium setup or whatever it was. So it's just interesting. I don't know that it's worth spending that much silver on. trying to remember what we said here 4108 41108 so it's going to be right around here right yeah all right 35 clip yeah this is what i thought it was so it's basically at least when i've fished here before i think it's been on the left side of these reeds we're going 35 clip just sort of at the tail end of this hole over here right in danger of not casting that far enough oh i did have i did thank you Berchan. i appreciate that yeah vacation was good really appreciate it that should go far enough yeah perfect All right, let's see if we can catch anything here. This will be our our opening spot, I suppose. All right. A little dark out here at Tuba. One thing I didn't look at is the weather. Pretty standard fare. Nothing great, but standard, right? Um, Fishing Yama, medium light does really well. Yama can handle most fish except the largest king salmon. Yeah, yeah. I thought that's what it was, Kyle Kid. Um, and so I guess, what did we run into on my setup that I have? It's on the legend, right? No, this one. What I ran into on this, because I really like this uh, light setup, but of course the test isn't strong enough when you get into, um, you know, those like 12, around 12 gram lures and such. That's where you move into medium or medium light territory, I guess. Uh, no, it was uh, no dropped frames at all. So we'll see. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna do the real test, the full test. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be hiding. Was not meaning to be hiding here. Just um, I had just woken up when I did that test stream earlier, so I was definitely feeling more shy then. So do we think this is like a fish nibbling or do we think this is, I don't have the right sinkers on. I actually need river sinkers on. I mean, these are 110 gram trilobs. Are they really getting pushed around by tuba current? Both of these have now moved. What's y'all's opinion on this chat? It's got to be current. I mean, I think I agree with that. All right, let's um, let's make some PVA.
and um, then we'll see. I mean, I don't want to like necessarily mess up the one PVA bag we have in there. Probably we'll still catch a fish, but just in case. <laughs> really lucky sturge bite. What's up, Two Shoe? All right, let's get this made. Actually, you know what we ought to do is we ought to check and see, am I right that this is one of the sturgeon? It's exactly what it is. This is the same sturgeon mix we've been using since, I don't know, 2020, maybe? Maybe before, I don't know. Clay chopped worm, zebra mussels, dried krill, Okay, don't even need to. Don't need to do anything else. the question is between these two. I'll just do this one though. Twenty gram or fifty gram. So Kyle, which spot was it on um, on winding? One twenty, one twenty one on winding and oh yeah, you said Belaya, didn't you? Sorry, you meant Belias. I mean I meant Belaya. Seventy three forty eight on Belaya. Seventy three forty eight. That's the one right near camp. And Chubb are biting it at winding. Is that also you're doing spin or is that on bottom? 120, 121 is the definite chub spot, isn't it? Or one of them. That's right near camp, right? 
Yeah, I meant Belaya though. I would try Belaya probably. Spinning, okay. You got 70% bottom fishing today. What is the loop rig good for? I use the loop rig for bream. I actually use the loop rig for almost everything except for things like sturgeon and burbot, potentially. Uh, certainly if you're fishing in a current loop rig, I think is desirable over inline. But I usually tell people like if it was me, I would use wherever your points are. So if you happen to have three points in inline, then I would just stick with inline. If you have points available and put them in loop, I tend to use loop the most, but it says can be used on any types of water bodies. It's got good sensitivity, but not the best auto hooking. This is sort of the in between. So if you look, if you read on here, it talks about how between Paternoster, which is set up like this, which has got medium sensitivity and good auto setting of the hook. And then something like this, which is in line, which is high sensitivity, but only mediocre auto hooking. The in-between is loop. So it's kind of the in-between between Paternoster and inline. Now inline does say if you're fishing for um, really... Wait, which one says it? Moderate size fish. Anyway, I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but that's how I use loop rig. Hey, what's up, Wesley? is much better much better Yo, Wesley, thanks for the raid. How you doing? Hope you had a good stream. A troll sitchel. What does that mean? Almost trophy sitchel? One point four two nine. Oh, sorry about that, trophy hunter. 
Yeah. I, I don't know why it's got to be so stinking loud when you go to the audio uh, setting tab. The can, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Seismic, how you doing? All right, first fish is maybe not a sturgeon? I don't know. Tiny sturgeon if it is. No, it's not. It's a little wild carp, right? All right, let's... Uh, let's fix this sinker problem. So we'll go 112 pyramid sinker. And I think this will keep it from moving as much. Maybe. It almost seems like it might be right on the ledge or something. It's like slowly falling down the ledge, maybe potentially. Um, would we be throwing past the ledge or before, I mean, into the ledge? Let me, let me pull this. Let me do some measurements here. Level 27 spinning. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I hear Belaya's got some good fishing. But I'm just back from vacation, so I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, so 35 could be just on the other side of the ledge. Maybe it's even... Yeah, it doesn't make sense to be falling into the ledge though. I must be short casting. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a little farther next time. Uh, KB, welcome back. Yes, had a great vacation. Thank y'all for asking about it. it yeah, it's, it was really good. Thank you. Really good. So maybe we need to go larger hook on this one as well. We're just getting the small stuff on the one eye. Is that an eyed? I think. Um, all right, let's go with the at least the three eye. I don't. Yeah, we'll go three eye on this one. Let's try to get out of the small fish territory, if possible. And we're gonna cast a little farther. I'm also just gonna let it sink and settle before I tighten it. So we haven't closed the bale yet. Let it just settle. It's not very deep. It shouldn't take long to settle. Now we'll close it. Still moving. I think that has to do with where we're casting to. You ever tried using a noise suppressing filter to get rid of your background static noise? All right, let me, let me, let me see if this helps. Did that do the trick? <laughs> There's still static noise. I have no idea then. I guess I really haven't considered it. I don't really, I'm, I'm so I'm so low, tre uh, low tech that it doesn't take much to get above my head on that kind of stuff. I'm definitely curious though. I'll have to go back and pull up a, do you always hear it on my stream?
Thanks for the follow. Um, Raz, I appreciate it. Thanks for the follow. You just had your second 24 kilo black. Wow. I just went right past it. This is also often a pike spot, right? All right, we're going clip 15. What's up, Danny? Hey, Gilder. Gilder, you're still awake. All right, so it wasn't the fan. I'm going to turn the fan back on because it is absolutely burning up up here. Oh, you just woke up. That wasn't a very long sleep. Do you like sleep in small stages or something? Is it really 5 a.m.? I guess it has been longer than I realized. Because that was like 8 a.m. this morning, wasn't it? Or 8.30, 8.45. And it's now 3, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So it's been about 6 hours since you were came by my test stream. Or you got home from work. Click the gear icon mix. Alright, let me check it out. Alright, the other thing I have to figure out though. Do I do that on... Well, I think I know the answer to that because that's the one that's recording the. All right, it's kind of bothering me that the that these aren't sitting. So do we think I would go a little farther or a little closer? I don't know, whatever. I want it on the computer that's streaming, not the computer that I'm actually playing on. Because that's where the audio is. Alright, let me see. You said. Uh, sounds good, Gelder. Thank you for the support. You said go to audio mixer. Click on the gear icon. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do need to do it on this on the um, computer that I'm playing on, because that's where the audio is coming from. It's all one unit by the time it gets to the computer that I'm streaming from. <laughs> that sounds less innocent than it is. All right, let's catch this fish first. I don't mind catching wild carp. I would just rather them be a little bit larger. Because they're actually worth decent XP and silver. The problem is this sturgeon bait often catches smaller ones, right? Sometimes. All right, let's see if this does anything. Audio mixer. Gear icon. Do I do it under the... The mic audio, the mic auxiliary one, or the desktop audio one. If I'm looking at the levels, it looks like the slight amount of noise is always going coming from the mic auxiliary. All right, go to. Filters. Plus icon, 
suppressor, noise suppressor, hook, hit OK. Is there a certain level you would recommend, Rise? Is there a certain level? Like it comes at minus 30 dB is the default. So I'll just keep it on that. All right, that is done. Is it any better? Noise gate? No, I picked here. Let me go back and see filters. It's noise suppression, noise suppression. And then it says suppression level minus 30, or I can go up to zero or down to minus 60. Sounds good now. Change the method to RN. Is that under the filters still? How do I change the method? I don't see a way to change the method. Not on mine. It's not here. I can show you what it looks like. So if I'm understanding this correctly, like let's look at the audio here. It's not picking it up unless it goes past minus 30, correct? So you're only hearing when I'm talking, you're not hearing when I'm not providing enough volume to get above minus 30. All right, now it's on minus 50. Is that better or worse the same? All right. Cool, thank you. Again, tech stuff like that, I am I am really I'm I'm beyond clueless on most of that. All right, now I've got noise suppression on both OBSs, the computer I'm playing from and the computer that I'm streaming from. And funny enough, I have a more up-to-date version of OBS on my streaming computer. So it allowed me to choose that option you were talking about. So please, if anyone has any audio problems or if it sounds different, weird, or bad, now that I've made these changes, please let me know but hopefully this will be an improvement. Thank you for your help, Rise. Don't do it. Is it gonna mess it up? Oh, true. Good point, because at that point, all of the audio is, yeah, 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 no, you're right. I think I think I get where where you're coming from there. All right, it's out. So what I can do when I'm done streaming is try to update this version of OBS to um, 
the most up-to-date version. Yeah, no, you're right, Rise. Got it. Looms, thanks for the follow. All right, you're saying just click, after I'm done streaming, just click help check for updates. Beautiful, I see it, I will do it, thank you. Welcome to the stream, Looms, thanks for the follow. All right, so it's been pretty slow here, right? Um, I, I don't think I'm patient enough to sit here for too long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I tell you what I'm going to miss. Not really. I'm actually so thankful. We have had zero disconnects, zero dropped frames, zero encoding frames dropped. We've been streaming for almost an hour. And just like the test stream earlier today, it looks like they really have fixed it. What a blessing. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, let's go do winding next. The tricky part with winding is just, I mean, not winding, Belaya, sorry. The tricky part with Belaya is timing it right. Like, are we going to fish overnight here? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold everything. This is a sturgeon chat I guess what I'm saying is if you end up go if I go to Belaya and it's like at the end of the day what am I going to spend the whole night fishing for at Belaya oh uh, that's cool looms well thanks for doing it this time I appreciate it oh dang I haven't announced on tw on discord or in game chat that I'm streaming wow For him. Is it the same spot for the burbot? How far are you casting out for burbot? Oh, that duct tape does it every time. We were actually just talking about that on vacation. One of my brother-in-laws has that sort of you can fix anything with duct tape kind of history. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Costy, how's it going? Just yeet it into the pit. I like it. That sounds nice and precise. I like it. Just yeet it into the pit. Hey, I've been there, done that. Especially at Belaya. Hey, I think we're going to have a sturgeon here. It's not moving fast enough to be a wild carp. And it's moving a little bit too much to be a catfish, right? So I think we're at a sturgeon size. Unless it's one of those other dinosaur fish that we don't want sturgeon related it's like just too strong for my mech to i mean we're we're gaining ground but my mech just won't hold it <laughs> anytime it puts its weight into it the mech is like yeah sorry the solutions to every automotive and home repair issue. I like it, Valentine. Thanks. Uh, welcome back, by the way. Several of y'all hung out this morning during my test stream. I appreciate that. Look at that slow pull. Do you ever just like lock it up and just hope for the best? In this kind of situation.
<laughs> Jake said every time. Because you know this is one of those like, you know, this is like one of those 17 kilo sturgeon. It's actually not big enough to get, to break our mech, you know, or snap the line. It's just big enough to be annoying. Is that a Russian sturgeon? That is, right? For a second, I thought it might have been a stellet, but it is a Russian. Yeah, it's not even 17, 14. Look at that, though. So good. If you can hit a few decent sturgeon. Papa Dak says, a couple times I thought I was safe to lock it up. I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there too. Did I change them all out? I didn't change that one out yet. I did change that one out. I, I don't think it's the current, guys. I think it's wherever we're landing here, we're on a shelf or something. We're not holding the... It's falling towards us or something. It's not like the current's moving it around. It's just sort of rolling down the shelf a little bit. It's what it seems like to me. It, that, that sounds like the uh, the rubbing rubbing is racing kind of approach, Jake. Uh, Jay Hackle says, I, I don't even go to 20. You mean on your friction break? <laughs> Dale, yeah, brother. Uh, I think I have to put on my John Deere hat for a minute after that one. Rubbin's racing, boys. <laughs> Do it for Dale. <laughs> you just gained 1,300 horsepower with that hat. Uh, it's good stuff. All right. Let's make our announcements. So true, the true fans are already here. In case we have any of the somewhat fans that still need to come in. We'll let them know that we are live. The rolling towards you happens a lot. How about that static noise? The rolling towards you happens a lot at Old Berg as well on the east side of the island. Interesting.
Hey, thanks, Blunty. Appreciate it. Jagermo, greetings. Lots of ups and downs at the bottom. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Michael? Welcome back. Challenge. Hey, Mr. Cage comes in with the prime sub. Thank you so much, Mr. Cage. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Of all the wonderful places you could have dropped that prime sub, thank you for uh, choosing to drop it here. your videos and personality of course chat and game awesome well thank you again box box says welcome back appreciate it keeler keel says how you how you doing what are you fishing for we are um fishing for russian sturgeon right now trying to hit a russian sturge or two I've been rank, raking in silver at Archie with two HSV plus Super Duty setups. Oh, that is awesome, Blunty. So is that where the silver's at? Just trolling Archie, huh? I could do a session of that. What lures are you using? What's up, Camel? How you doing? These are... Um, these are the big boy reels, the the Vingas. What's up, Zion? How's it going? Today I got a golden tench almost trophy. Really? So, um, were you consistently catching them or was it just a one-off? There you are. Look at that. That is a nice golden tench. You've never seen me in game? Interesting. And are you in our uh, are you in our chat rise? Our in-game chat? 70F and 004. That's the balsa, right? I think at Archie, ju you just find what's like catching a good bite rate. Because you can. You can make so much silver there. But I mean, when you play, when you're playing Rise, are you logged into my chat group? I was just trying to figure out if why you would see me or not see me there. Oh, it's these, huh? 70F0001. And 004. So these two. Yeah, you do. Okay. No, that's weird. You got a 14.6 short head. Oh, nice, Keeler. Camel said I started this game like four days ago. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm actually, I think I'm, I'm planning on starting a new leveling guide this week, Camel. So I'll be leveling with you on a new account. ADF004 doing well. Cool. <laughs> every log, every time I log in. Yeah. Well, every time there's an update, you have to. I mean, that I feel like that happens every update, right? I, I, I play for a couple hours and then I'm like, I don't recognize anybody in chat. Oh, I got kicked out of chat again. 4455. Really? Oh, that's good info. Oh wow. You're 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 going you're going hard, Camel. Uh yeah, those Baltics will take the <laughs> take the wind out of your sail. That's a good point. 
Oh, there's some there's some variation on baits. Maybe I'm maybe I should go back to mole cricket. That was yesterday. I may not be using the right baits for getting a good bite rate. I had heard that zebra was doing well, but I'm not so sure. You're still on your old 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 bird trophy hunt called a 24 black carp. Ooh. That is a lot of black carp. I'm still using a very basic sturgeon ground uh, PVA from a long time ago. You got the biggest on mole and crayfish. Yeah, this is my main. That's right. All right, we need to switch it then. We'll just keep the um, zebra on one, perhaps. Let's go ahead and switch real quick. Last time I fished for sturgeon, like a week ago, it felt like I did really good on mole cricket, but... I saw somebody saying they had called a couple trophies on on the zebra mussels, so I decided to try it, but Oh, I bet Kyle kid. Yeah, no, and I've never done that on a leveling guide, actually like go after a uh, ultralight or light setup. But yeah, that percentage would make a lot more of a difference early. Than it does later with the type of fish you typically catch on light and ultralight. Uh, Sam Samurai or Samura, thank you for the follow. So what I do rise is I actually use OBS has a built-in setting that you can use over your Wi-Fi. So it actually communicates the stream through my network over the Wi-Fi from one computer to the other. And again, thank you for the follow camel. Um, let me see if I can figure out what it's called because there's a specific thing. Is it NDI? Does that sound familiar? There's something that it's called. You have to download an additional setting or something. Yes. Thank you. Defiance. That is exactly it. NDI. Okay. Perfect. You added every reel with stats to your spreadsheet. Oh, wow. Oh, you bought them and then refunded them, right? I thought you meant like, yeah, I was thinking you just collected all those reels. You stall until Belaya, then you just explode using easy spin reel and Siberia ultralight rod. What do you save up for that? Easy spin reel is cheap. How much is a Siberia ultralight? Man, that sounds fun. It depends on how much silver that costs. Like I would love to do that on my next leveling guide, but I don't want to just do that. Do you know what I mean? So it just depends on how many resources it requires. 1.4k total the thing is that does require such a focus on that early get the reel first so you can use it on other things
Yeah, you just got to do that and buy nothing until then. And see, I'm not, I don't necessarily want to level with speed. I'm much more interested in leveling with variety of experiences. So it may be harder to work that into the game plan, but that does sound super fun. Yeah, no, for sure. I wonder how, if you could get into a, a light setup, like the cheapest light setup for any, if it's like, significantly cheaper or not is it there a starter or even a pro light kit or something that might be reasonable and save you a little bit there is because you're still getting some bonus XP you're just not getting the ultralight stuff it was Oh, the starter rod they give you is a light setup? Interesting. But having a little more strength than that would be nice. Someone gifted it. Yeah, that's cool. Starter light pro kit. That's awesome. All right, so this was on mole crickets. We got a, another bite pretty quickly on mole crickets. All right, so we're going at uh, Belaya. We're going ultralight with any of the spikers or hornets probably. Yeah, see, that sounds so fun. Does anybody remember how much that kit is? It's like, what, seven, eight hundred? Sixteen, eighteen spikers. I also want to try some hornets, though. Maybe a little bit, at least. Six forty-nine. Now, see, that might be worth doing. Once we have our basic bottom rods, save up for that next, maybe. I could see doing that. That's such a fun little setup, though. I wonder if it's, um, yeah, I guess the thing would be is to compare the prices, Blunty. Yeah, or at least a variety of places for leveling. I think that sounds good. I mean, I think there's just, especially when, when there's more North American people playing this game, there is more of an interest in spin fishing. Not all, not everyone is like me immediately getting sucked into the bottom stuff. So at least spending some time looking at that would be worthwhile. Some 900 or so silver options that are decent. Interesting. And that's for rod and reel. Huh? That's not unreasonable. Yeah, it's just too slow, right? So once it gets to be like that overnight period where it kind of dies again completely, we'll we'll make our move. Is that right, Tushu? I feel like they have been um, intentionally quiet on what, whether or not they were going to have bottom fishing. Maybe they, maybe they don't even like recognize it as a 
big deal to not have that. For me, it's a huge deal. Not, not that I won't play it. I mean, I definitely still will. I'm still excited about it, but I was really hoping... All right, folks. Oh, that's good. As long as they're working on it, I, I am totally fine with that. Totally fine. All right, guys. We normally do, um, you know, we normally do Twitch ads and stuff, you know, occasionally when I'm going to take a bathroom break or whatever. Well, this time we're going to do an internal ad. All right. This is, this is a, an advertisement for an upcoming event that I'm super excited for. Um, so let me set it up here and, uh, and then I'll be right back afterwards. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, Gonzo? You're going to have your first baby next month, Camel? Wow. Congrats. What a big moment. Congratulations. I don't know. Especially while the babies are small. You might get some fishing time in. Hey, uh... 
Big Draka, thank you as always for the support. Welcome, Catfish. Thanks to Big Draka for gifting the sub there. Uh, thank you, Lurch. Lurch Dave, vacation was great. Yeah, thanks for asking. Pike and Bream Comp. Oh, on Monday when Jake is back to streaming? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. All right. I think we go with our tail tucked between our legs. We go sell these fish and go try uh, Belaya for a little bit. We did not do great here, did we? Not the best sturgeon fishing. Sounds like we should have been at the other spot. Forty-four fifty-five. We might should have tried forty-four fifty-five. That's down at that. That's like a forty clip. That's like one of the only clip. <laughs> Sturgeon clips that's even bigger than this one. I haven't fished down at 